안녕 친구들 are you guys ready to cook? Lately, every time when I go to the social media, I see this recipe and I really want to try it, which is Sundubu Ramen. It got so trendy in Korea because of shiny key made it in the one TV show and everyone say it's so good. So today, we're gonna try shiny keys sundubu ramen. To get started, we need yeol ramen. Yeol is heat, ramen is ramen. So it's a, like a really spicy ramen. You can use any kind of ramen, but shiny key is the yeol ramen. So we're not using shin ramen and we're using yeol ramen. We need 200 grams of salt tofu, some pepper, and quarter of a green onion. So if you have all your ingredients, let's get started. To get started, we are going to prepare our vegetable first. So get one green onion and cut the stem. And we are going to slice it thinly, but we are going to slice it diagonally so it can be long and pretty. Pretty like this. And put to the side. Next, we need sundubu, which is a soft tofu. This one is a 400 gram. We are going to use half of it. So cut it in half and put to the side. Next. Get one ramen and open it up. Take everything out from the package. We're only gonna use a half of noodle, so break it into half. Oh, cool. Put to the side. That's all. We're ready to cook. Get a pot and add 300 milliliters of water. Usually ramen need like 500 to 550 milliliters of water. But since we're using sundubu and sundubu contains a lot of water, we're only using 300 milliliters of water. Add your flavor packet. And turn your stove on high heat. We're gonna add our sundubu, but don't add whole thing. Break it and add it. So get a spoon and just scoop it and add it. Oh! Oh my, oh my feel. I cover a lot of ramen recipes in my channel. I'm gonna put the link in the description down below. You can check them out. Once it's boiling, we're gonna add our ramen. Why does it sound super good? Can you guys hear it? I really like the sound. We're gonna cook it for 3 minutes. Once noodles loosen up, we're gonna aerate them to make it jorgi jorgi. After 3 minutes, we're gonna add green onion on top and some black pepper. Ta da! That's it! Our ramen is all ready to eat! Eating time! Let's see. I never put sundu in my ramen, so I'm so curious. Okay, I gotta mix well. I'll get some sundubu. Some ramen. Okay. Mm. 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 It's good. Since I add 300 milliliters of water, I thought it would be salty. But because of the sundubu, it's not that salty. You know, yeol ramen is usually spicy. But because of the sundubu, it's not that spicy. So even if you're not good at eating spicy food, I think you can handle it. I really like the black pepper flavor. I think black pepper makes this dish way better. But I miss the meat flavor of shim ramen. So if I make a sundubu ramen, I think I'm gonna use a shim ramen and add some little meat in it. But this is pretty good, so you should definitely try it. And if you try it, please send me through the social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Kwon's Corner, some Reddit. I'm gonna put the link down below. Thank you to my Patreon, Mechanoman, Krista, Jackie, Nancy, Chanel, Miss Cheshire, Spencer, Gia, Joey, Sue, Lexi, Mr. Mrs. Gabby. Thank you so much for helping me to make bigger and better contents. See you next week. Annyeong! If you like this episode, please hit subscribe and the like button. And if you wanna see more video, it's over there and over there. 
And if you have any requests, please comment down below. Then I'll make sure to cover it in a future episode. See you next week. Annyeong! Annyeong!